So till now we have we started our discussion on this algebraic expressions first by defining the concept of a variable. What do we mean by a variable? Okay, then we understood how what are the what are the various situations where we use variables. And then we built upon it and we understood the basic operations of the variable. Then we said, you know, these operations can be called as the algebraic expressions. Now after that, we will move into the next step of equation, next step related to algebra, which is understanding what do we mean by an algebraic equation. So till now we have just understood what are algebraic expressions and variables that are used in the expressions. Now let us try to recollect our first example with which we started our concept of a variable. We said that we have matchsticks, some matchsticks and we want to form L patterns using matchsticks. And we said that you know initially we just wanted to figure out that if I want to form n L patterns that is some n number of L type patterns then we said how many matchsticks are required and using a variable we said that we need 2 multiplied by n or 2n that is 2 times the number of L patterns you require so in this case uh, n is equal to 1 that is 1 L pattern so I, the number of matchsticks required will be 2 when n is equal to 2 that is 2 L patterns you can count the number of matchsticks are 4 1 2 3 4 when n is 3 that is I want 3 patterns the number of matchsticks are 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 now let me reverse this situation I know that there are 6 matchsticks used for forming L patterns. Can we figure out how many L patterns are formed? Just reversing the problem. So essentially what we are trying to do is we are asking ourselves whether is it possible for us to find the number of L patterns formed if we know that total matchsticks are given. So to put it into more practical terms let us understand that somebody comes and says that you know what we have 10 matchsticks which are forming L patterns. Can you tell me how many L patterns are formed with this 10 matchsticks? That's what. How many L patterns can be formed with this matchstick? That's another way of asking that. And how do I represent this mathematically? So a way of doing it would be this. What we have done here. We say that 2n equals 10. Now this 10 is the number of matchsticks. Okay. Now n is unknown. n simply means the number of l's that are formed. And what what does this condition imply? We are saying that 2n is equal to 10. So this means that this value of n here, it must be such that when I use n here, it must result in 10. Or the number of patterns that I form should be such that it uses only 10 matchsticks. So can I say that we are kind of putting a condition on the value that this variable n should be taking. Okay. So two things to keep in mind. One, the value of n becomes now condition. So this is what is an algebraic expression. Okay. Condition on a variable. So how do we find the value of n? This is essentially what we are going to ask. Now let us try to formally define the algebraic expression after learning from that example. So algebraic expression is a condition on a variable as we discussed earlier. In other words, it is simply an equation which has a variable in it. There has to be an equal to sign. And the key important thing to keep in mind about it is that it will be satisfied only for a definite value of the variable. So it must have an equal to sign that says that the right hand side is equal to the left hand side. That, that is only when we call it as an equation. And just reflecting back on this statement that it is satisfied only for a definite value of the variable. For if we take our example 2n is equal to 10. What will satisfy this? We know that 2 times 5 is 10. So when n is equal to 5 
then only this equation is satisfied and that is what we mean by saying that it is satisfied only for a definite value of the variable. So now let us try to work some examples which will make our understanding even more clearer about the algebraic equation. Okay. So let us see if the following equations that we have, right, they are equations with a variable. So the example A which says x plus 20 equals 70. Is this an algebraic expression? So I would look at three things. Does it contain a variable? Yes, it does have a variable which is x. Does it have an equal to sign? Yes, it does have an equal to sign. Okay, so this is a algebraic equation. So I would say that yes, it is an algebraic equation. Let us look at B. Now in B, if you see that we have 8 multiplied by 3 equals 24. So the first question is, do we have a variable here? No. Since we do not have a variable, so it is not an algebraic equation because we do need a variable in an equation to call it an algebraic equation. Okay. Now let us have a look at the problem C. It says 2P is greater than 30. Does it have a variable? Yes, it does. P is the variable used. But the second thing is, does it have an equal to sign? No. We see that there is a greater to sign here. Therefore, it is not an algebraic equation. Let us look at problem D, which says n minus 4 equals 100. Does it have a variable? It does have a variable n. It also has an equal to sign. So yes, it is a algebraic equation. How about the problem E, where we say 20B equals 80? It does have a variable as well as an equal sign. Therefore, it is an algebraic expression. And if we have a look at the problem f, where we have y by 8 is less than 50. So it does have a variable, but the equal to sign is not there. Instead, we have this less than sign. So this is not an algebraic equation. So just two things for you to remember. It must have an equal to sign. And there must be a variable in the equation. These are the two key things that we must look out as a first check to understand whether an equation is an algebraic equation or not. So in this video, we covered about the meaning of an algebraic equation, which simply says that it is a statement or it is a condition on a variable. In the next lecture, next video, I would discuss about the solution of an algebraic equation.